hot. Oh my gosh, the sun is going in and out, so I'm sorry if it gets super bright and super not bright. Oh, it's such a mood today. <laughs> Just kidding, this is applesauce. Mm. Mm. What is up you guys? Thank you so much for hopping back onto this uh, channel. Anyways, unfortunately this is not going to be a festivist a festivity video. Um, as you can probably tell from the title, I'm going to be reviewing another oil pastel. I know, this is not going to be that exciting, not that festive. I wanted to post this video before the end of the year. That way I have less oil pastels to review next year. That way I can have one final giant review. I hope that still happens. Who knows? Anyways, as you can tell from the title, we are going to be reviewing Express Nest oil pastels. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know in the beginning I always use Crayola and Expressionist. I have not purchased a brand new box of Expressionist oil pastels in a long time. The one I was always using was super old, and I was just using the remnants of that box. You're also probably thinking, why is this just a top to the box? Um, well, I already filmed the intro, however, it didn't have any sound. The intro didn't have no sound, so I had to film it again. So yeah, I've used expressions for quite some time, so I know how they work, kind of. However, I've never done a full-on drawing with just Expressionists. In my experience, Crayola and Expressionists were kind of on the same level. However, Expressionists always seem to be a little bit more creamy and more pigmented. Oh my god, it's getting bright again. Anyways, long story short, I've never done a full drawing on this, so this is my first time ever doing a full drawing with Expressionists! Expressionists all my cells! And this was actually sent to my P.O. Box from a lovely person. Her name is Jenna, so thank you so much, Jenna, for sending these to me and making my pockets not hurt. Make his pocket hurt. But thank you so much, Jenna. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Make his pockets hurt. I love applesauce. You coming? And here we have it, Expressionist Oil Pastels. Let's do it. So, let's go ahead and open it on up. And this is the 36 pack. I've never had this big of an Expressionist Oil Pastel. I'm actually really excited. I have not bought these in forever. Thank you so much for sending them, Jenna. Okay, check it out. It's glossy. Oh my God, why do I always do that? Are you ready? This is the first time opening it. Oh, wow. Ooh, I've never seen this before. Wow, let's test how creamy they are. Actually, we gotta get a fancy shot. We gotta get a fancy shot, hold on. Let's go ahead and do a skin swipe. I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I always do it. Ooh, okay cream, okay creamy. Okay. At first glance, I noticed they're not as creamy as Gallery, but I do have some examples here. So we got Crayola, a brand new one, and then the closest match I could find with uh, Gallery. And you can see how similar they are with the Gallery and Crayola. And then with this, they're just a little bit smaller. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but this, this is just slightly smaller. Ever so slightly, but not, not crazy. Like, yeah, you can kind of tell that this is just a little bit smaller, but it's not not a big difference. I actually thought they used to be a little thicker. So these two are Expressionists. This is going to be Gallery. Here's Crayola. So the consistency is almost a mixture of Gallery and Crayola, but still very pigmented. Yes, ma'am. Without further ado, do we're going to draw. So fun fact, before I even knew about Mungio and Selenier, what I used to do is I used to do a base of Crayola and then actually use Mungio on the top because I thought these were a lot creamier than these. Um, turns out they're, they're fairly the same. Look at this toy coise. Look at that toy coise. Mm. Okay, I'll put up what I plan on drawing. Um, it's just like this. It's this. I just took it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna draw. Well, hello my fellow creative people. How is everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing deliciously this holiday season. I wanted to do something a little bit more loose, um, but also keeping a very fresh point of view in this uh, little portrait, self-portrait of mine. Um, but yeah, I want to do something a little funky, and I'm gonna start talking here in a second. Okay, so overall this is the sketch. The head hand looks funky because I made the face too large. This is just gonna be something fun to show you how these work. Go in with the 
face first and i'll see y'all soon well hello again so i actually did not like the beginning of this drawing at all i thought i should just go ahead and restart or do something else but you know i already stuck with this so i said might as well finish it out um but i did end up doing something a little different i didn't end up doing like that full blending like i always do with oil pastels i kind of just did that you know that cross hatching where i'm just layering everything up um instead of full-on blending with like pressure i didn't break my fingers that much but i did i did thus thou uh break us those fingers and i apologize if i ever sound like a broken record when i'm just complaining about the things i make i truly do love making things and i do get attached to them even if i don't like the outcome i do get attached to my art pieces so i'm sorry if i sound like i'm just constantly bashing my artwork because i don't mean to I just feel like a lot of my recent projects have failed lately, and it's the ones that you haven't seen yet, um, but I'm working on it, I'm I'm working through it, um, I post on social media about it, and I have so much love in the comments, I love y'all so much, y'all have no idea, I would not be out here doing what I love without you guys, period. And at the same time, I have no idea what I'm doing half the time, um, so, you know, live and let live, I'm gonna start talking here in a second. Hold on, we got a sponsor. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Now, if you haven't heard yet, Skillshare is an online platform that lets you dive into any creative experience you want. From bookbinding, knitting, sculpture, pottery, they have thousands of classes catered to you. If you saw my last video, I mentioned that I was taking a class by Danny Fisher Shin, which was on animating in Procreate, simple steps to create awesome animations. Now, I'm still watching it, however, I'm slowly but surely getting the hang of it. So a while ago, I started an animation with like a rotating bean, and I'm slowly fixing it and this class has really helped me a lot check this out <laughs> okay it needs some work however I think it's so cute I really love how the classes are structured especially if you need to go back on something or rewatch they're really easy to find because they're split up in different videos and the coolest thing of all there are no ads which means you stay engaged and no interruptions hold on I did forget the cherry on top it is less than ten dollars a month with an annual subscription and the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. Oh, we're back to the drawing. Hello again. Anyways, I forgot what I was talking about, but let's go back to this drawing. So I want to do the crotch hash thingy thing. I really like how the hair turned out. Um, it's very loose. This whole drawing is very loose. Um, I just wanted to try something maybe a little bit different. Nothing so crazy, but also giving them that like flare that colorful and like that i like when things like move into like spirals you know that's just how i draw but it's kind of cute it's kind of fresh new ah! Ah! Oh, sorry the scratch scratch got me again y'all oh it's coming for my soul anyways he is almost done i'm gonna let y'all watch and finish by yourself We're done. We got it. Mr. Thinks a lot. Mr. Uh, claw hand. Mr. I do like the hair though. I like the scratchy scratches. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a final review. Expressionist oil pastels. What are my final thoughts? My final thoughts. Now, if I'm being honest, they're a little bit drier than I remember. I remember them being a little bit more creamy and a little bit more pigmented. This drawing kind of shows that they kind of work exactly like Crayola. However, in this case, Crayola ended up being a little bit more, in my opinion, a little bit more pigmented. It's so strange. The problem with oil pastels, especially the ones that are kind of like everywhere, like Expressionist, Crayola, all those, you don't really know how old they are, and you don't know if they're going to still be as new acting, if that makes sense. Like as new, as new and creamy and juicy, if that makes sense. I do think this might have been like an older box, but they still work great. Don't get me wrong, they still blend well. They're still very much pigmented. I've noticed that this box in particular kind of acted almost exactly like Crayola. Um, and like I said, I have not purchased a new box of Expressions Oil Pastels in a very, very long time. So those old ones I was using were still very well pigmented and juicy. I'm gonna say something maybe a little bit controversial. Controversial. I kind of like Crayola better than these. Before, I always just liked these because I thought they were a little bit more juicy and creamy and, you know, pigmented, whatever. But it goes to show that maybe, maybe not. Maybe Crayola was just a little bit better than these. Not to say they're bad. They're very good. So altogether, I still really like these. I like the harder oil pastels that lets you blend out and break your fingers. So I'm definitely going to be using these. I love these so much still. However, 
If I was to put this on a list of what I've reviewed so far this year, what I like, what I like using personally would be Gallery, Selenier, y'all get nervous? Crayola, and then uh, Expressions Oil Pastels. It used to be flopped like that. You know what? Sometimes you gotta think of more bang for the buck because a box of these is almost the same price as the Mungio box. And I would honestly do Mungio before getting a box of these just because Mungio is very opaque, very creamy, and they are so easy to layer. And another lovely shout out to Jenna for sending me these. Thank you so much, Jenna. And I'm so grateful. Thank you, B. Well, so this is a little awkward. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns down below, let me know. If you guys have any ideas of what I should do next, please let me know also because we're going on to a new year. I got a list already, but I could always add stuff. So let me know. If you guys want to see more art, uh, you can click this link or the, uh, you can have the videos right here and you make sure and don't forget to subscribe um, and click that little bell so you know when I post. I post every Tuesday, um, but don't miss out. My eyes twitching again. It's a little awkward. <laughs> We're kind of all alone.